This little sweetheart was my inspiration for the scarecrow puppy. I took some pictures from the front and from the side and back so that I knew exactly where I wanted the seams to provide extra fluff. And then I looked to see where I wanted the bone structure and where I could use the PVC pipe to make those bones. So if you look, I provided the wide points for the head, slightly wider points for the hips and a tail. I use tape, but for your project, I'm providing connectors. I put packing peanuts in plastic bags and taped it to the PVC pipes. That added bulk underneath the burlap bags and simulated a musculature. Can you see it now? How about now? You need a lot of bulk in the chest area. I can see it now. Once we've taken the PVC pipe and adequately padded it with packing peanuts and plastic bags, then it's time to add burlap. And then we went from bags to burlap, hand sewing and raveling to replicate the dog. The eyes, stripes, and even the nose were markings on the burlap bag. That nose was a D. It's the little details that bring your scarecrow to life, so don't be afraid to make the ears crooked. Oh, if he only had a brain.